Hello everyone, we're here in El Dorado Hills, California, checking out the ICE VTX race trikes. Let's go. I have to admit, after 40 years of riding bikes, and that includes road bikes, recumbent bikes, and a pretty good assortment of recumbent trikes, I thought the phrase fast trike was an oxymoron. I found that trikes do a lot of things very well, but riding at a consistent high speed wasn't one of them. Then I discovered the ICE VTX. With a boom and rear hydroformed section of 7005 aluminum alloy and a main cruciform section made from 4130 chromoly steel, our trikes weigh in at around 36 pounds, but I've heard of VTX builds actually coming in below 30 pounds. My trike is wearing the Avid BB7 mechanical disc brakes with my brother Rich's using the Tektro Volans hydraulic setup. The VTX runs a 700C rear wheel and two 20-inch 406 wheels up front. Upgrades are available with my trike having the optional carbon fiber seat and rear disc parking brake. Rich has the already mentioned brake upgrade and titanium axles. Okay, so what changed my mind about the possibility of a fast trike? Over the years, I have owned and ridden several trikes from Cat Trike, Green Speed, and Ice. In fact, I still own an Ice Q26. I've loved all these trikes, and as I said, they do have strong points. But when I felt the need for a fast ride, I always found myself either going back to a road bike or a two-wheeled recumbent. A little over a year ago, a pre-owned VTX showed up at a local bike shop at a price that was too good to pass up. I figured I'd get a chance to check it out for a while, and when it turned out to be no faster than my Q26, I'd be able to flip it and make a few bucks. On our first test ride, Rich took out the new-to-me VTX while I rode my trusty Q26. From the first few pedal strokes, he immediately began to pull away from me. How could this be? We set up a few test runs, and when in the course of half an hour, not only was it obvious that the VTX was faster than the Q26, it was dramatically faster than the Q26. On the 26, I was killing myself to keep up with the VTX and failing miserably. He was consistently leaving me like I was standing still. Not only that, but he commented that at his top end cruising speed of around 20 miles an hour, he wasn't feeling any of the typical drag he felt at those speeds with other trikes. In fact, the VTX had a level of pedaling resistance at high speeds that he described as very much like a road bike. What did this mean? <laughs> Unfortunately, it meant we needed another VTX and pretty darn quick because I wasn't looking forward to spending the next few months literally eating his dust. You might be thinking here, why bother? After all, you have a bunch of road bikes, too many, and you have fast two-wheel recumbents, so why the need for a fast trike? Okay, so I'll tell you. Remember early on when I was explaining about the benefits of a trike? Benefits like stability, safety, comfort, and a level of pure fun that just can't be matched by a two-wheeled bike? Sure, two-wheeled recumbents can be comfortable and fast, but ever try climbing a 14% grade on a low racer? I've fallen over too many times to count on my Lightning M5U2 while trying and failing to climb extreme grades. Yeah, I was only two inches off the ground, but it was still embarrassing. I remember thinking, if I could only find a trike that was as fast as a road bike, I'd be looking at the ultimate pedal-powered vehicle. Well, better get back to my story. Fortunately, at the time I realized we needed another VTX, a lot of early VTX adopters were selling off or trading in their VTXs for models with full suspension. Let me say here, I always found this a little confusing because despite its commitment to all-out speed, the VTX is one of the most comfortable, smooth-riding, vibration-absorbing trikes I've ever ridden. I've ridden over wood bridges, road irregularities, and potholes that would feel like someone whacking me on the back with a 2x4 on other trikes. The VTX handles this type of thing with a shocking lack of shock. Hey, it worked out well for me as I managed to find a slightly used VTX at the hostel shop for around half the new price. I hope the guy or gal that traded it in on their full suspension model is as happy with their trike as I am with the VTX. 
After a year of riding, I'm still in love with this thing. Descending on the VTX is something that really has to be experienced, as no description is really going to do this thing justice. It's just pure fun and something very akin to going for a great roller coaster ride. I still find myself laughing out loud on crazy descents where I regularly exceed 50 miles an hour. Running a comparison of my speeds over the course of the last year, on a 50 mile ride with an average elevation gain of around 1200 feet, I'm actually putting in slightly higher overall average speeds with the VTX compared to a road bike. Yeah, you're saying, but it's slower climbing. Yeah, I've found that on extreme slopes of 10% or above, I'm around 2 miles an hour faster on a road bike. But you know what? The VTX is descending much faster than my road bikes, and on one of my recent climbing rides, which gains 2200 feet of elevation over 22 miles, I just put in a higher overall average speed on the VTX than I've managed on the route recently with any of my road bikes. Hey, Strava don't lie. Yeah, I'll still ride my road bikes. After all, there's nothing like kicking in your natural afterburners, standing up on the pedals and blasting over the crest of a hill. I'm into the whole vintage bike thing too, so I'll be riding my vintage bikes as well. I'm certainly not going to pass up on the chance to wear my moth-eaten wool cycling kits. And I'll still ride my two-wheel recumbents. A low racer on a long, flat course is a thing of beauty. I'll be spending some time on my slower trike too. There's certainly something to be said for taking your time and enjoying the scenery. But for right now, I'm having a hard time rolling out on anything other than this VTX. I may have actually found the ultimate pedal-powered vehicle. <laughs>